Hello and welcome back to another episode of Borderlands 2 DLC. So how long's big game hunt and McFeast? And we are coming into the final parts of this DLC. Unfortunately, as much as I love it, we have exhausted more or less all the missions, only a few missions left to do. And we're on our way to Bloodtail's Lair to place some pheromones, which we picked up back in the lodge from Sir Hamelot. So, making our way there now, killing any enemies that are in our way. As you can see, there are a few savage warriors trying to kill me as they speak. And weak doctors trying to set me on fire. Never a good thing. So, we'll try and take them down as soon as possible. So, weak doctor dead. I cannot see. No, he's still alive. Is he dead? No, he's still not dead. So, I'll pop into phase a lot. Hit him with some Seahawk and he finally dies. Finally. Just checking these boxes. A lot of money in these containers. Usually you find some ammo. As I mentioned in my previous videos, the best way to find ammo, especially when you're in the middle of a mission. And there is uh, no vendor machines to be found or had, so. Always good to check them. As you can see there, we're picking up some more SMG ammo just to top it up so we're not running low when we come to this mission. It's going to be another boss fight kind of thing. So, I don't know what it is. No, I've not got to kill the professor. What are you on about? Oh, is this the way to the last mission? Oh. Uh, well, I'm not going to do it, so just don't listen to what they're saying, I guess. Oh crap, if I knew that I wouldn't have done uh, this, I would have saved it till later on because I believe there is a mission or two back in the second area we went to. That's okay. It's all good. Hopefully it will trigger again when we come back to this area. So it's taking down all the enemies we see that are in our way. Oops. What's this crazy fool doing? Oh, there's more people. Let's throw some grenades. Um, is there a, no, there's still more up there. Come on down. Oh, hello. When did he come down? He's dead. Oh, I'm getting shot by someone. There he is. And he's dead. Yeah. This is not the uh, most entertaining of gameplays right here on the way to the boss area, but it's uh, what you spend most of the time in Borderlands doing with your mission. He's just killing enemies that are in your way before you get to the final area and sometimes it can get a little bit intense and maybe it will do a little bit up the line here but right now it's just your average skirmishes where a few enemies just pop out of somewhere and try and attack you oh, paralyzing weeks up today is trying to suck me in as you can see, he's deflecting all my bullets there and he just took all my shield down, but he's dead, so that's all good. And then we'll take the dude in phase lock. Oh! Come on, I missed the guy that shooting at me. And, oh god. Take him down with a Maggie. Oh no! Dead, oh there's spores everywhere. Oh, that was a nice shot. Oh god, this could be the end of McPhee's right here. Enough. Try and push up here like, out of the way of danger. And get our bearings back to see what is going on and what the heck just happened. And there we are, there's an incendiary spore there. That was just spewing shit out everywhere. And that was probably what put us down. So it's that dealt with now, let's push onwards towards the triangle diamond triangle it's not a triangle it's a diamond 
the diamond uh, waypoint to see what we have to fight there. Oh, some ammo crates. Let's see what these have to offer. Why are they not full? Oh well, we got a little bit of ammo replenished there. Oh good, and I'm stuck on the bridge. Okay, we're good. Elite's crossing. Uh -oh. Elite savages. They don't sound good. Ah, they got a handsome jet mask on. And the bodies are wigging out. All oh, those witch doctors and everything is leveling people up. Oh my god. So he's not bad. Not bad. As long as you keep running straight at me and I don't move. Oh. I say that and then the witch doctor just comes and saps me. Awesome. No. <laughs> awesome stuff. What the hell? Oh. Okay, that was part of his mission. Oops. Well, yeah, that was uh, one of the uh, bits you have to do to get to the end mission, I guess. Okay, we've made it here to the lair. Now we've got to place down the pheromones here. Once I've reloaded. Now we have to oh, release them. We have to smash them, okay. I was getting all ready, you know, ready for his... Uh, ready for the big boss to jump down wherever he comes from. What is it? Where is he? That's, oh, is he a stalker? Well, is he a dead stalker now? That was a bit too easy. So, God, did he drop anything? Nothing, just money. Okay, let's go do another mission. I think I have another one where I have to kill something. Because yeah, this is the one. We have to find the trail. Now, where is this? Let's back at the start. Should have done this one first. Oh well. Oh well. Everything's more or less dead, so it should just be a straightforward run to where we need to go. The skin there. I've already got it. This DLC, you get so many skin drops in it, it's unbelievable. Granted it is for the fan boat, or whatever it's called, and not many character skins, but still. It's cool that the enemies and inside the piles of trash and stuff, there are a lot that drop. You may have noticed I am wearing one of the downloadable skins that come out a couple of weeks ago, or was it a week ago? They come out long after the DLC does. There was three for each character, I believe. Siren. And I just got the Siren because the Siren is my main character. Still working on leveling up some of, uh, some of the other characters. I've got an Assassin. Yeah, an Assassin. And the Gunzerker at level 50. Just need to go through onto the second playthrough, do all those missions. And then I can test them out against some of the bosses. Which should be fun. Should be fun. And I've also got a Mecromancer. That's only about level 14. I started playing it then. Uh, this DLC come out and uh, it took a back seat. What's this? 16% no we don't want that. We don't want it. Ok let's go find this beast. We have to follow, find its trail, not follow its trail. Well, I suppose we will have to follow its trail as well, but for now we just have to find the trail. And jump down here. Let's collect this money. I don't need it, but when you see something shining on the floor, it's like, I, I need to has. I want it. It gives me the money. See what's in the mail, some SMG ammo. All good. Okay, looks like we're coming up to the area waypoint of where we have to find the trail of this dude. But first, let's search this chest and we get some monies. Okay, should be anywhere around here. Keep your eyes peeled, people. Where is it? Oh, 
enemies. Yeah, they just do a barrel roll. Pretty interesting. If I don't say so myself. Where's the unkempt arrow? There it is. And there's the trail we have to find. Right there. I was just making sure there was nothing in the water I needed. And there's the trail again. This guy is absolutely huge. I have no idea what it is again that we are facing. You probably heard me say that a lot. That is because I have only played this once. And I have not been watching any videos or anything to do with this. The only videos I've been watching are the ones that I have put out myself to watch back to make sure that they are okay. Take them down easily. And then there's some more enemies up here on our radar. Oh god. Oh, it was a rare one. A tailless one. So that's the rare ones we need to find in them. We've got four of eight. Which is not bad, considering I've not been looking for those animals. Just been killing them as I've been progressing in the game. Progressing, not progressing. Okay. Those guys are everywhere. Uh, where do I go now? I think I go this way. Yes, I go this way. Whoop, ha. Following the trail, this guy's gonna be huge. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a huge monster. He's gonna step on me and kill me. Oh my god, that's a glitch in the game! <laughs> wow, that's pretty cool. Huh? That's not the first time that's happened to me. Usually, it happens with like a chest or a vending machine, and I never understood wh stood why that happened, but. As long as it's not affecting the game too much apart from the colours, it's all good. Take down these enemies and then we'll carry on looking for this monster thing. Where is he? Where are the trails? What the hell? Um, I don't think I can climb up a mountain. No, I um, guess I'll go this way then. Okay, we're getting ever closer to this beast. Will I be able to defeat him? This is the question. This is the question I often ask myself when coming up against a boss or a raid boss. Will I be able to defeat him? And 8 times out of 10 the answer is yes I can. And then there's other times where usually raid bosses you're like oh my god I need to just rethink my whole process of how I'm attacking this dude and what not. But I've killed almost every boss in this game, so the bosses aren't unkillable. They are hard, you just have to re- oh god. Found him. Big crystal arc is like blue from the caustic caverns, I believe. And that was no fire. Oh, come on. That was pathetic. Did he drop anything at least? Did he drop a weapon? Oh, what's this? A rare shotgun. Ah, cool. Okay, well, that does it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, a comment, and remember to subscribe. You can also join us on Facebook and Twitter. The links will be in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.